Hello, I'm Dhanya Rajendran from the News Minute. Here are two stories from South India under two minutes. Nityananda is once again in trouble. This after two of his managers from his Ahmedabad ashram were arrested on allegations of abusing and torturing children. Let's get the story clear. A man named Janadan Sharma filed a complaint alleging that two of his daughters were being kept captive in the ashram. The two daughters, who are adults now, have in turn said that they are happy in the ashram and that their father was conspiring against Nityananda. But based on Sharma's complaint, when the police raided the ashram, they found three other children who made allegations of abuse. The next question is, where is Nityananda? As far as I know, his passport was given back sometime in 2011 by a Karnataka court where he is facing a case of alleged rape. He left the country in June 2018. Whistleblowers say that perhaps he could be in Ecuador. Some say he is in Nepal. The point is no one really knows where Nityananda is. Over the years, many such stories have broken out ab about Nityananda. But the fact remains that his ashrams have only grown in numbers. This is something that we need to reflect on. The other story that I would like to discuss is from Andhra Pradesh, where water man Rajendra Singh has said that he has concerns over the safety of the Sri Shailam Dam. He says that the structure of the dam is under danger and that the Andhra government should do something about it. Irrigation Minister Anil Kumar Yadav has dismissed all these uh, safe, safety concerns and has said that he has been in talks with the dam authorities. It's good that the Andhra government is dismissing these concerns, but the point is they should do more and be more transparent. It's just not enough that the minister gives a press meet saying that there are no safety concerns but instead the Andhra government should tell people especially those from Rail Seema what exactly were the problems for the dam and how these were addressed what are the problems that are remaining now thank you